Okay, let's see if that worked or not. Believe we are live. Let me just send the link to the group. Let me just send the link to the and then I think we are good to go. So week um is this week four? The Converse Ball Stars against the Microphone Hunts. Looks like this is week four novice. Yep. Maps tonight are Asida and Rush 2. And we have the first seed in Microphone Hunt facing off against the eighth seed, Converse Ball Stars. Looks like the stream is in a good spot, so I'm good whenever. And we will get going. Excuse the uh, the rust on the commentary. It's been a while, but hopefully good things. I should probably get myself into spectators, huh? <laughs> that would help watch the game. We are in. I don't think I have audio. Do I have audio? I do have audio. Oh, that's so exciting. Let's get you zoomed in a little bit here. That looks a little better. I say good enough. Two, one. And we're off. First grab of the game is going to go to Jukester. We're going to get some space with it. Maybe even out of base here. Yeah, good move there and a good start for Jukester getting out of base. Blocks are there if he wants it. And they've got the first cap of the series on the first grab. Well done. Now it's on the other side looking to make some space. Looking for a handoff play. Freak doing a good job of staying on the flag tile there. Keeping things contained. Freak, if I'm not mistaken, the uh, one of the better rookies this season. I haven't had a chance to check on their games too much, but it looks like they've been putting up some good numbers. Got a call up to minors as well, um, as Agnes is now boosting low past a couple. Cooler to beat, and they're going to be able to walk that one in for the second cap as power up spawn. I think the uh, sounds might be a little loud. Sorry about that. There we go. Jukester coming quick. Cooler can make a play. Not able to quite get between the two defenders. And the third cap of the game is in already. With quite a bit of time left on the clock here. So we'll see if the uh, Ball Stars can get a reset at some point. Slow things down a little bit. Get reset. Good anti from Zach there. That's a good first start. First step. OD needs to get that diamond set up, but not in a pretty, not in a bad spot actually. Looks like they're doing a good job. Trapson's going to get hunted up by Timmy, and Zach has a chance for the reset. Not able to get Jukester in time, but Timmy will in the open field. Well done. Cooler passed a couple, but Agnes pretty safe for now. Oh, I'm losing a little bit of the uh, the map there. <laughs> I don't know if I can fine tune this any better. Uh, oh, there we go. Close enough. Two pups, nowhere near their flag carriers. Juicer's going to try to find Agnes. Looking for a kiss, most likely, with the rolling regab. No anti. Zach with a good return, but Freak's going to be able to get out here and probably hold for a while. Now it's return for cap, and it will be a cap for Freak on the Jukester return. Traps and up past a couple. Nas with good positioning initially. See if he rolls on it. Good job. And both teams seem to be out for a little bit here. Nice snipe from Trapson. But a good pull from Cooler on the other side as well. Things looking a little hectic on both sides. 
no real semblance of a reset. The kiss is going to be in favor of Converse Ball Stars if Cooler can get this return on Jukester. He's keeping him in the backfield, which is good. Zach's there to help. Well done. And they should secure the reset here as power ups are spawning. Nas is going to do a good job to stay away from that power up and might be rewarded for it. He's got the chance to walk it in for the cap here, and he does. First cap for the Converse Ball Stars for the game and series makes it a 4 1 game as Timmy's coming in with a rolling re grab. Jukester, though, with a good grab here. Needs to hold for a little bit with Cooler threatening and does a good job to pull back. Slowing things down, letting your team catch up, get ahead. Good decision making on their part there. Zach with a decent grab initially, almost <laughs> ends up costing them on a cooler bump, but uh, I think it was Nas was there to shut things down. Nas with an interesting position on that boost. I think I prefer just getting ahead there um, instead of going for the hero play on that. But a good reset now for both sides. Let's see who will strike next. Power ups up in about 10 seconds or so. Nobody fighting for the top pub. Only microphone up, but <laughs> Cooler is actually going to be passed for <laughs> as um, my microphone is getting set up on the power ups there. So it makes it a 5 2 game. Agnes passed a couple. Cooler ops not to kiss there. Gonna have two juices to get away from here. Nas stays alive somehow, able to get past Freak and got a little bit of space to work with. Uh, return for Cap, but it doesn't appear to be coming, and Nas is gonna force that probably a little more than he had to and put Microphone Hunt in a good position here uh, if Jukestra can get back. They've got the bomb to work with down low. Looks like they're gonna opt not to take it, and a good push from Zach almost secures a reset on his own there. But. Still a good chance here for the Ball Stars to get out, and they do. Agnes is going to get hunted down, and can't quite find Jukester in time, but still Converse Ball Stars threatening here. Ooh, Timmy. So if you're Timmy watching this back, you want to hold this line so the flag carrier has to cut back. Never guess left. That lets them get out past you. And Freak now in a pretty comfortable spot with a tag pro coming to help as well. Nas needs to hold for a while here. Yeah, and that's going to be another cap for Freak the Rookie. Glimmer has joined the group. I think Glimmer is a member of the Ball Stars. We will find out next half, most likely. Zach with a <laughs> very nearly returned for a cap, but now threatening himself as a return should be coming. No, Juicer stays alive still. Wow. And Juicer's going to pull it all the way back. Jukester doing that quite often, and I think it's the right decision a lot of the time. Just walk back into the open space, give your team a second to reset, and they're going to be able to keep the flag out despite the return because of that. Good grab from Nas. Oh, can't quite get the bump that he was looking for. The LOL in the chat. Good solo from Timmy there. Pup spawning again. Tag Pro uncontested on the bottom. And Jukester's going to be able to win that Juke Juice on top now. Tag tail, it's gonna turn into a lead. Nas needs to grab, does, good grab. Can he create enough space? Nice shot from Cooler. I can't quite tell if the cap register didn't hear the sound, so I think he saved that, which is a well, well done. Side's going to get a good reset here. Three minutes on the clock. We'll see if the grabs happen before power-ups or if they're going to peel off. Jukester goes for top a little early, I think. They got some more time than they realize. They do come back. Probably heard the comms for the time. And need to keep Agnes in base here. Not going to be able to get him just yet. Power-up spawning now. Jukester's going to go uncontested for that tag pro up top. Hopefully someone peels off to help. Cooler looks like he's going to get there in time. A... Not able to get the tag pro. Freak's going to take it instead. And Nas coming in, but a tag pro to beat's going to make it hard to do much. Good decision to back off there. <laughs> Nas just dancing. Buys enough time for Cooler to get a good grab. Cooler needs to be safe here. Can't quite sneak around Jukester for the eighth cap coming in. Hopefully the stream's live. It stopped counting up, which usually is a a bad sign. Well, I guess we'll find out later. Jukester with another good grab. 
hiding in that top lane. Flaccid comes in on the other side. They're going to be able to get around Timmy. Do they have the boost? They do. Right into Zach, though. Good positioning there. And Nas now with a chance. Decides to peel off. I think he had the angle to that boost if he wanted it. But Freak with a good job staying pa patient in the backfield there. Hunting down that return. Power ups. Very swayed towards Microphone Hunt, if I had to guess. I haven't looked at the scoreboard yet, but. Traps in now. Diffused. Zach able to <laughs> use Freak's momentum. Chance here for the Ball Stars. Blocks aren't quite there. Microphone Hunt able to get a bit of a diamond going and shut that one down. Nas needs to be safe here for a moment. He does. Trapson almost got an interesting boost off of that corner there. That would have been nice. Uh, Nas almost finds Tile, but the uh, return is not coming from Freak. Holding pretty well. Zach with a chance here. Oh. Trapson now coming in. The blocks are there. Freak very strong. I'm going to be saying Freak's name a lot, I have a feeling. The way I've seen them play this game. Nas almost. But again, uncontested power up. Going to Agnes Fortis Cooler. Able to win the juice up top, though, which is a good switch heading into game two, hopefully. Timmy with a nice bomb. Zach should have the return here. The anti's there. No, it's not quite able to find Jukester in time. And now Nas was past everyone, but return not coming again. Jukester looking very comfortable with the flag this game. Some LOLs in the chat. Keeping things light spirit light spirited. Love to see it. <laughs> Cooler just dancing around. He's going to have tile here, possibly, but... Woo, look at those moves! <laughs> Five seconds. Who gets the kept flag? It's going to go to both teams. No, ooh, Cooler, <laughs> he just gets away with it. Well done. Uh, let me make sure the stream is actually running before we start the next half. Um. Oops. What have I done? If anyone's watching the stream, say something in the chat real quick so I know the stream's actually working. Awesome. Then stream R. Carry on. Um, so that was game one. And I've already forgotten the score. I want to say it was eight to eight to something, eight to two. Nine to two. For the microphone hunt. Toss that up on the scoreboard there. All right. We're here. Thirty second break according to Sphere And we shall return shortly. Couple of substitutions from the look of it. We've got Trapson coming out for JKXS on the microphone hunt team, and Converse Ball Stars are subbing in Glimmer for Timmy Sumball. Everyone else seems to be staying in. We've got R's from the Ball Stars. <laughs> Assuming Glimmer is actually in the group, we should be good. Do we trust? We trust. Got to figure out how to put music on these streams or something. Just kind of sitting here. Quietly. Stream of conscious. The R comes in from the microphone hunts. And we have launched. Oh, is that a home map that we just played? I guess it was a home map that we just played. So, the actual map this week. Asida. And then Rush 2 will be coming in after. Nas calling out Anti in team chat, which I think is 100% the correct decision. They need to be getting 
those resets a little bit more often. Uh, probably looking for kisses a little bit too on Jukester, especially who's been comfortable holding the flag as he gets the first grab of the game again. And already looking to threaten here. Blocks are not great. Nas had a good inside block on JK there. They don't have anti though, so Agnes is going to have basically a free grab here. He's going to bait Zach into the boost. Backs up though. What is that? Sorry for what? Promoting my channel? Get out of here! What is what is this? Shoo! Go away! <laughs> oh, you maybe miss a cap. You darn bots! All right, so <laughs> the first cap of the game goes to the Commerce Ball Stars, and just so I can say their name as soon as things settle down, the cap went to Zach. Well done, Zach. First cap of the game. Power up spawning. Ball Stars fighting for both this time, which you love to see. Nas got a chance to be out past a couple here. If Zach can hold this block on Jukester, he can. And the second cap's going to come in for Nas. Now, counter cap opportunity here. Good grab from Zach. Got a hold here. Good snipe from Cooler. Well played all around from the Ball Stars on that one. Um, Freak still holding. Still got space with the bomb to work with. But Zach also doing a very good job of staying alive here. And uh, I guess this could be a cap both directions, depending on how things play out. Um... Nas doing a good job to push in. Cooler hanging back a little bit. Going to go out gate. He's got the angle on it. Glimmer doing a good job of staying inside that block on Jukester. And both sides have a chance for a reset here. Jake is going to have a grab. Goes for the gate, which is covered. Three to beat. And Zach's going to shut it down. But no anti once again. So, oh, good out from Glimmer. <laughs> this is a hard, uh, hard map to get things to settle down on. It feels like any time the flags are out, things get a little crazy. And uh, that is holding true so far. Power up spawning once again. Tag pro left. Nobody going for it yet. Nas is going to be the first. He's going to get it uncontested as the juice is going to go to the microphone hunt. Nas had to grab with the tag pro, though, to keep Jukester, who was past four for a moment. Um, isn't going for a kiss, which I find interesting. Um, I don't mind taking out the juice. Just know the juice is spawning, so Cooler's got to be safe here. And, yeah, it's going to be a cap for Jukester, who read that play well. But chance for a reset here. Nas, got to hold your side there. And Zach's going to offer the kiss. Now, still no real resets here. Cool. <laughs> the chance for the straight end. Can Glimmer get the return here? Pushes for it, but Agnes with too much space to work with. And now Nas with a good job on that gate. Both sides should be reset here. No, Glimmer's got another one. <laughs> and Glimmer scoots past the boost and actually forces a spike. But Jukester now safely out with Nas holding on the other side as well. Nas finds flag tile, but return's not coming quite yet. JK going for that power up a little early, but it's not going to cost him anything. He will earn the tag pro for it. Um, both sides once again with a chance to get reset. We'll see if that actually turns into one. Good attempts there from both sides. Agnes is going to get out with a tag tail. Nas able to get that return, though, and the tag never really connected with the flag carrier. Cooler almost almost snags Jukester on the corner there. But chance for a reset, even if the cap's not coming here. He's got two blockers in base. Yeah, well done from the ball stars to shut things down there. But Freak now threatening. Still in base. Whew, I cannot commentate this map. There's just too much happening. Good snipe from Nas. Power ups once again. Agnes threatening. Let's see if they can threaten for the cap to keep JK uncontested on that juice. He does. Good job from Agnes there. JK to see if he can use that juice to get a return here. No anti though from Microphone Hunt, so Cooler's going to have a free out here. Jukester also pushing a little stronger than I might have recommended there. No regrab from Microphone Hunt. Nas with a chance here. He's got the split and Cooler's there. And he's going to be able to walk that one in. Well done. A little lucky, but we take those. Now we have our first real reset for a moment, although it's immediately out again. <laughs> Both sides with a grab here. Agnes is going to be able to get out as well. Good corner. Kind of trips Glimmer up a little bit. Nas needs to be safe here. JK AFK for a moment. Appears to be back. Power up spawning the next couple seconds. 
neither flag carry are really threatening pups. Nas just kind of sitting. Agnes just kind of sitting. Um, Agnes does a good job there to go help with the juice. See if they can win it 2v1. But the tag pro is the big one on the other side. And Glimmer's going to take it. Um, see if they leave regrab, which I think is the right call. And they will, and they get the return. But the boost is going to take out the flag carrier in the process. Very unfortunate. Um, still a chance to cap here, though. No, not going to come quite in time. Cooler with a juice grab, though. Pass two. But the tag pro spawn in base. They find Agnes. They get the return on Freak, and that's going to be the fourth cap of the game for the Ball Stars. Well done on that bomb play. Glimmer with good patience to keep Jukester contained in the backfield there. Agnes needs to hold here. Does have enough space. Good snipe from Nas, but not quite in time for a cap opportunity. Freak passed a couple. Nope. Finds his way into Nas. That's how it goes. JK passed a couple. Return for cap possibly coming in. Nas there in time. Doesn't get the return, but it's enough to let Cooler catch up. Blocks should be there. No, Nas is going to get him anyway. Another round of power up spawning. Neither team really paying attention to them. Agnes maybe looking at a juice right. JK is going to take the uncontested juice left. Not sure the comms were necessarily there from the ball stars that time. But just need to be played safe here. They got two juices blocking in base. So the microphone hunt needs to just take their time here. Get the block set up. And juice is going to do a really good job of reading that play. Agnes with a very nice closeout as well. But Cooler with a counter cap opportunity, and he gets it. Wow, look at that. So getting the cap, but giving up that big grab. Got to kind of weigh the odds there. And oh my goodness, Cooler. I'm not sure if that was a, a misplay on the OD or just a really nice block, but it looked good to me. Um, well earned, 6-2 to two lead currently for the Ball Stars. Good block from JK to get his teammate out there. Glimmer back into base. Not a terrible decision. Nobody really threatening. Return for cap opportunity here. Not anymore. No, it is, but for the other side. <laughs> Another round of power-ups. Anyone paying attention to him? Survey says yes. Maybe not. JK is going to get that juice left. Uncontested rolling. Agnes is going to be able to safely walk this one in. That rolling is... Nobody knows it's there. Zach's going to take it finally at 43. We'll see if teams can keep up on the comms for that power up next round. Zach's going to get the fuse on the gate. Not a great spot to do that, unfortunately, but able to be in the right spot at least to stop that jukester capping opportunity. <laughs> just both teams just teeing off on these boosts, <laughs> getting as many grabs as they want. Ooh, really nice snipe opportunity from Zach. Doesn't quite connect. Juicer now with a chance. No, hits the corner. Might have had that angle to sneak past top all and in, but that's a very, very small gap to be hitting, even when you mean to go for it. Another grab from Cooler. JK keeps him pinned, but he's going to let him out in the end. Another round of power up spawning. 43 on that right one. See if anybody remembers that time. JK fighting for the tag left. Has the block on it, as Freak now has a pass-four opportunity. Doesn't know that the comms aren't there. Straight in was there. But still a return for cap for a while, <laughs> and both teams fighting for that juice on the right side. Uh, Cooler just needs to be as safe as possible, and does a very good job of that. Jukester probably wants to push off a regrab here, but as the tag pro runs out, that opportunity disappears. Very good hold from Cooler there. Good patience. No resets here still. Although, Jukester has an angle. No, can't quite get there. Nas able to sneak around Freak, who tried to go for the double block, but it wasn't quite there. Jukester starting over from the other base. Blocks are not there. Going to have to back off a little bit. Get sniped from behind by Nas. And Agnes catches Glimmer there. I was not expecting that. Good chance here for Microphone Hunt. They've got the boosts to work with. JK is going to push it, and he does get there. But again, they're giving up that counter cap opportunity by pushing it in there. So... Sometimes it's better to take your time, wait for the blocks to get set up. The cap was still going to be there in three seconds without giving up that counter cap. So Cooler now passed a couple with a rolling on the flag. JK gets the tag, but he's not in position, unfortunately, to stop anything. Gets the flag pro as well. Um, and that tag spawning is not going to be put to much use with Nas holding for now. But Nas boosts straight into him, actually. And it's going to be <laughs> a cap for Microphone Hunt. Uh, Nas was not expecting that to happen, I guess. Jukester had a chance there. Glimmer, just enough of a threat to stay away from the tile. And 15 seconds looks like this might close out game two. Um, very <laughs> uh, energetic, I'll call it. Game that one. Oh, goodness, Nas. 
right as I'm saying that. Yeah, 13 total caps. That's a, uh, whew, that's a lot. A lot going on. Well done, both sides. Um, I think I just deleted the message from this person. I didn't actually ban them, but eh, whatever. They're probably not going to come back. So a very exciting eight to five win for the Ball Stars. And we will head into game three momentarily. Blue team winning both matches so far. Let's look at some numbers here. I think this is off the stream, but that's okay. So before this week, Converse Ball Stars have posted a single win, an overtime win, an overtime loss, and then 12 additional losses. So that puts up their second regulation win for the season. And I thought it was a pretty comfortable win as well. I don't know if Microphone Hunt necessarily had their top lineup in. I didn't look that closely, but I think they did a much better job with the flag. I think they were doing a better job of just staying a little bit safe when the other team was threatening. Um, not a whole lot of resets to speak of, but that was pretty universal, and I think that's just kind of how a map like I said is going to play out at this level. But what are those flares next to the profile button? Oh, that's because I'm in charge of things. Um, <laughs> this is where I can assign roles. This is the mod tools. I can edit the map rotation um, developer stuff like the single word joiner, and then uh, I forget, oh, this is runtime stuff. It's like the uh, post-game messages and the, the competitive tab stuff. But that's just me. Uh, stream R. But back to my point, uh, Ball Stars should be pretty happy with that win. I feel like that was a strong, strong showing, especially when you come into playoffs. Obviously, you know, you're playing your best lineup as much as you can. Uh, so just knowing that you've got a good solid lineup there is a good, a good feeling even for the eighth seed. I don't know how to respond to all these messages in the chat, so I'm just going to pretend I don't see them. All right, subs. Trapson, I believe, subbed in for JKXS on the microphone hunt. Timmy Sumball in for Zach, if I'm not mistaken as we head into game three with one game apiece. So what I'm looking for this half, or this game rather, uh, from Microphone Hunt, I think it's being a little bit more selective about when you bring the flag into base. I think that they had a couple of opportunities to cap without giving up the counter that could have been the difference maker that game. Uh, I think that just being a little bit more aware of, do we have anybody ahead? If I cap here, is it going to be opening up a pass for opportunity for the OD in the other direction? Because at that point, you're better off not taking it right away. Um, if it's a 50-50, I think you go for it. But there were a couple of plays there where it was like, there's no way this is not a counter cap if you don't slow down a little bit. Uh, but then on the Ball Stars side, I think it's really still focusing on getting those kisses and getting those uh, resets. I think they're just allowing the flag to be out a little bit more than I'd like. Uh, so we'll see if they're playing anti going for kisses here. Timmy Sumball, good at staying in the base there and staying on anti. So we'll see if they make use of that. First grab of the game, I think was cooler, unless I missed one before that. Uh, I won't bother with the scoreboard. Jukester finds their way into a spike, well done. Agnes coming out right. Blocks aren't quite there. Cooler in a good spot to shut down that route. Jukester's going to be comfortable on a boost here. Two pushing in, no anti, but no regrab. Jukester's going to come in low. Blocks are not there from the OD, but Glimmer's able to catch up in time. Uh, and Glimmer again, well played. Almost sets up a pass forward for Nas, not quite able to. Um, 
We've lost JK from the group. Jukester now threatening, still in base. Going to cut down, coming left. Power ups do spawn. Glimmer's going to take that rolling and almost gets that same snipe as the previous play. Uh, good hold from Cooler here. But probably was looking for a kiss. But they're going to find the, the, re the reset, reset regardless. See if they can make it happen. Now Agnes is going to be out. Good OD from Nas there and a good pull to stamp that. No real angles with those spawns there. A little lucky on the microphone hunt side of things. Jukes are now threatening. Nas, good position on that bomb to shut that down. Gets the grab at the same time. Jukes are still holding no anti from the ball stars. Anti is in place for microphone hunt. Um, did Nas almost have tile there? I didn't quite see. Um, I don't love that return from Glimmer there because that's opening up a past couple opportunity and that turns into the cap there. Um, that backward snipe really got to weigh the pros and cons of that. Um, Tag Pro is going to go uncontested to Jukester, which is uh, unfortunate, especially with the flag coming in and no grab from the ball stars so far. And they're going to be able to walk that one in for a 2 0 lead. Um, so hopefully, Pup Timers, they got them now. We'll see if they do something with them. Jukester still got some time on that tag. Keeps Glimmer out of the play, but Nas threatening on that bomb was enough to keep Agnes from coming into base. Um, should have the return here, or at least the pull from Cooler. Well done. And good patience to pull back there as well instead of rushing out. Now, good chance here. 2v1 blocks. They got to block the gate as well. Timmy's not able to hold the block, unfortunately, on Traps, and I think it was Traps and doing a good job to get in behind there. Good move from Glimmer to be out. Jukester as well on the other side. <laughs> Sneaks through the gate and <laughs> almost finds flag tile. But Jukester comfortable regardless. Uncontested power-ups again. Microphone Hunt going to take two juices without anybody even looking at him. Traps in back of base. Should get a reset here. Two juices to keep in, though. Going to be a tall task for the Ball Stars. Agnes now with cross boost coming back wall. Gets the 45. Nas there in time. Using that 0.25 effectively. And chances for a reset here hasn't quite happened yet. Traps and again out. Nas needs to do something here. Cooler with a good positioning. But that's a good move from Nas. Good route. And he's not going to be rewarded for it. Oh, goodness. I think Agnes read that well. Used the, uh, the defenders actually as a backboard to get the angle they were looking for on the boost in. And it ended up working against the uh, the interests of the team there, unfortunately, as another cap comes in for a 3-0. Power-ups are coming up. There is some fight now. Freak's going to win right, but Nas is going to come away with the left juice, one apiece. See if they can keep things settled for a little bit here. A lot of boosts to keep track of on this map, though. And the juice on both sides doing a good job of slowing things down. Jukester does find a way out of base. OD is there. Well done from Glimmer, kind of on the dead man swipe there. And a straight-in boost actually is open if Nas can find Flag Tile. It doesn't find it, though. Ops to go top left corner. Not sure if the comms were there. Good return from Glimmer. And actually a chance here for Nas. He's going to be able to walk it in for the first cap of the game for the Ball Stars. Well done. And might have a chance to secure a reset as well. Nice shot from Nas. Both sides with a second to breathe here. And then it's power-up time. Although it looks like both teams are interested in grabbing before power-ups, so we'll see how that goes. But nope, both opt not to. And Traps and uncontested on that rolling. I'm not sure why the Ball Stars were there but not fighting for him. Nas with a good hold, though. Agnes wins the tag left. And the gate's there, actually. They're past three. Can they get the sack play in? Uh, the Poost took Timmy out of the play as well. <laughs> Almost sneaks around, but yeah, the play's, play's gone at that point. Good attempts. Now it's looking at the flag tile, not able to get there. Return comes. Chance for a reset here. Glimmer has a boost to work, but it doesn't get there. Gets caught up on the 45. Good play from Jukester, and now Agnes with the past couple opportunity. Didn't trust the gate from Freak, keeping Nas off that boost. Cooler needs to use that bomb or get into a position. He does get into a position. Well done. 
shut down that pass three opportunity. But good play from Trapson too to keep things settled. Power ups again. Cooler fighting for that tag for this time. 2v3, Nas does win the tag on the right. Let's see if they can use these here, get a lead set up. Able to get the grab. It's not the cleanest, but it works. And Jukester does get out with a free grab, but they have another tag pro on defense. So all they need to do here, get a single return, get that tag pro up with the flag carrier. Timmy should be chasing, not playing anti. Well done from Tim there. Nas not able to keep the flag in, but it's still there, and Trapson is going to get caught by Cooler for the second cap for the ball star. So this game very much within reach. Three and a half minutes to go with a one cap difference. Although Agnes coming in now, Cooler needs to live. Not able to get around Trapson in time, and Agnes is going to open that lead back up to two. Good hold from Glimmer, though. Doesn't have the button. Good job from Trapson to hold that. Get a second return as well. Now it's going to push that bomb. Doesn't have much time. Gets there, though. Right where he needed to be. Jukester coming in from right instead of left. I think the blocks favored a left entry, but... Power-ups once again. We've got a tag left rolling right. That tag is a bit delayed, if I'm not mistaken. Good button from Cooler. Opportunity here. Nas doesn't have the angle. Gets Jukester out of the way, though. Does have the chance to walk it in. It's going to be a one-cap game. Although that's going to cost them the tag pro on the left, and they did lose the rolling on the right. So Cooler really needs to be safe here. Regular grab, rolling, re-grab. Uh, means one less chaser, but... Not a safe position to be in if you're the ball stars here. Especially one cap. Cooler almost sneaks in, but that rolling re-grab... You shouldn't be going for a cap here. It's really just kind of survival mode for a second. And they do do it in the end. Do do. Um, <laughs> well done from Cooler. Uh, no anti necessarily, but I think that was the right call for the situation. <laughs> Good OD here from the Ball Stars. Nice and patient. Oh no, Trapson's gonna work his way in. Oh goodness, they were they were a little bit too comfortable. It got spread a little bit far, and Trapson reads that perfectly at the timing. Two cap lead, definitely still doable here, but they really need to focus in on these power ups. Only a juice and a rolling to win, but they cannot afford to lose these if they want to pull this game back in. Um, good chance here. Glimmer's going to be able to walk this win. One cap game, once again, Trapson does get the rolling uncontested. That juice is going to go again, uncontested to Agnes. But one cap game, so anything's possible. They're going to hand off to the juice. OD's there. They got two ahead, at least two, maybe even three here. But Agnes has got a chance to scoot around, and he does! Oh my goodness! And he's going to open it back up to two. So you can't say they're not earning these caps. I think the OD in the right place, not necessarily making the right decisions from that place, but very close. Another chance, though. Nas is going to be able to get the return, and we're back to a one-cap game now with a minute 15 on the clock. Both sides reset for the moment. And this last round of power-ups, only two juke juices. Oh, no, and Agnes is not able to get there because Glimmer comes flying in from the left. <laughs> Glimmer hit that boost a couple different times this game. Stopped at least two caps, but Trapson's going to be able to open it back up again. <laughs> oh my goodness. And it looks like it's starting to slip away from the ball stars here. Last round of power-ups spawning. Uh, three caps in a minute. Weirder things have happened, but we shall see. Now it's going to get the other juice. They got the two juices, 40 seconds. Cooler gets one return. Timmy not quite able to hit that swipe. And Agnes has passed a couple. Can't walk it in, but I think this game is... Just sneaking to a point where it's going to be out of reach. Microphone Hunt playing very conservative defense, doing a good job keeping that flag in. And that double flash, it might just do it. But still a good showing from both sides. Very much a winnable game for each team, which is what you love to see. 15 seconds here, we'll see anything cool happens. Both sides going to get a reset for the moment. Uncontested grab for Glimmer. See if they just take the kept here. Or Jukester, sorry, not Glimmer. Oh, <laughs> Jukester does throw it in anyway. And offs for the cap over the uh, the caps. But I don't think that that 9-5 to five score line really talks about how close a game that was. That was a very winnable game up until about 45 seconds on the clock there for the Ball Stars. So, fun game, though. Well played both sides. Uh, that's 5 to the Ball Stars and 9 to microphone hunt so the blue team winning streak has continued through game three we'll see game four if that holds true once again cheese does not really stream but i i did tonight <laughs> as you can tell i don't really do this very often by my scoreboard and um that's it
just have a scoreboard. <laughs> I thought that was a good half from Timmy. Yeah, I agree. Um, I think the biggest things Tim's got to work on is um, close quarters contain. I think they have a tendency to back up instead of pushing in. I think she'll see a little bit more success if she kind of really gets it in the face of that flag carrier and forces them towards a teammate rather than trying to just get ahead and wait for the teammate to come to her. Uh, but definitely a lot of improvement the last two seasons, no doubt about that. Um, don't think Char's able to make it tonight. If it works, it works. That's right. Stream R, I guess I should say that. All right, heading into game four. Two games to the microphone hunt, one game to the Converse Ball Stars. We're on to our third and final map of the evening, though we do have two games on it. Uh, Rush 2. I'm just thinking about how each team has been playing tonight. Again, a hard map to get reset on if you're not going for kisses. So it's going to really come down to how much anti are we playing, how much are we kissing, and are we aware of when those power-ups are. Because uh, this is a map you can't really afford to wait 5-10 seconds on a power-up or you're going to be giving up a whole lot of ground. So you really got to know when those timers are to keep the game under control. Good grab from Agnes is going to open this up early. Good grab from Nas on the other side though. See if they go for the kiss. Trapson's not able to find Nas. Nas doing a good job staying patient. Has to get out of base here though. Freak's going to sweep a little bit. And Nas... Not able to get around traps, and though Glimmer's going to push up. Good route into base there. Agnes almost hits it. Just misses that 45 off the bottom wall, boost into the flag. But JK now threatening. Comms aren't there. They don't know JK's coming in. And they're going to be able to walk it in pretty much uncontested. Uh, not able to get reset as well. Agnes going to be out past a couple. Got boosts to work with. Nas the only one to beat. Good positioning from Nas. Slows it down just enough. Zek grabs, and it's going to be a good grab, actually. Two tag pros as well. To work with one of these needs to find their way to the flag carrier glimmer's going to walk back good job from nas to push off of regrab there and if they can get the return oh goodness where's that tag pro ah uh, cool has got a grab here he's going to be past a couple got the tag pro in base still good push from glimmer onto that bottom boost uh, just unfortunate that the flag carrier wasn't able to find their way around uh whoever the fourth od was i wasn't able to see who it was but a good opportunity there didn't quite connect, but definitely had the potential. Uh, good patience from Agnes. Going to come in low. Blocks are pretty good, actually. Just a little bit slow, I think. And a good return from Cooler to shut things down. Back at home. Zach with almost a very good pull. couple spikes happening. I'm not sure <laughs> who or why, but I uh, love a good unforced spike. Power-ups coming up. I forgot about them. They did not... Agnes is going to take that rolling. A lot more contest on that rolling than there was on the tag pro. JKXS relatively uncontested. And it's going to be a tag tail, probably turning into a lead shortly. Now they're going to push it in as the tail. Agnes, nothing to really do here as Cooler has a really, really good grab. Um, but Cooler doesn't need to push there. I think Cooler, you really want to stay in the space up top. You've got that boost to work with, and that's going to cost them another capture there. But Zach, good out. Pass three, return for cap opportunity. Oh, the return does come, but Nas plugs the uh, the spike lane. Let's see if they can do something off this boost. Cooler ops not to take it. The block should be set up now, but Trapson does a good job of shutting that down. So, two caps that I would I would attribute to communication uh, for microphone hunt or lack thereof on the Converse Ball Stars part. Uh, but two opportunities as well for the Ball Stars. So as soon as you start connecting. Kind of settle into the map a little bit. This is a very doable game. Zach with a very good tag pro win there. Good 2v2 pup fight on the top one. Freak's going to come away with the juice bottom. And uh, that juice is going to stay on D. It should be a good counter to this tag pro. Really important for the Ball Stars defense to keep the flag in here. Uh, Zach doesn't know the spawns. They almost set up the grab there. Very nearly. They weren't quite on the same page. And now Zach has no choice but to grab. Does find some space with it, but that red boost is going to be hard to get around. He gets JK on the blow by, and he has the block from Cooler, but he doesn't take it. Oh, should have cut inside there. Almost had it. Agnes now threatening the other way. Good snipe from Nas. Doesn't get there, though. And Agnes, <laughs> just enough there to threaten Agnes off the flag tile. Um, not not a great OD grab there from Cooler, but Nas with a very good push. The comms were definitely there that time. Zach probably doing a good job of letting Nas know which lane to cover. 
and a chance for a reset here as power-ups come up once again. Both power-ups pretty much on time. They're both te both teams have done a good job contesting this game. Nas is going to take the juice. Should have a grab with it as JK takes the rolling up top. Let's see what both teams can do here. Nas does get the out, but that rolling is going to be hard to get around. Agnes grabs. Looked like they wanted to spike themselves to give JK the flag. Uh, JK does get it in the end, but the rolling is diffused right away. Nas just holding pretty comfortably here. Uh, return should be coming momentarily. The anti is set up, but JK with a good hold there. Uh, now Nas needs to be looking for a kiss here, if they're not going to be pushing off of regrab. And he does, especially with no anti there. You want to take that kiss. Um, and now Trapson does a good job to keep Cooler off of that boost. Oh, but Nas is going to sneak by everybody on the boost! What on earth was that? Oh my goodness. Oh, I wish I could watch that again in real time. That's that's incredible. <laughs> Freak now, going to be past a couple. And uh, Cooler as well going to be out. <laughs> Somebody clip that, please, for me. I need to watch that back later. Um, Nas sniffs that rolling bomb. Doesn't get it in the end, but it's not going to matter as he gets the, t uh, the cap. And we are back to 2-2, two -two, although two rolling bombs, one defused on the flag. Nas is ahead, but not in a great spot. Glimmer with a very nice snipe. Another grab coming in from JK, most likely. No, they're going to keep him off. Well done. So good, good gritty fight back from the Ball Stars to keep this game 2-2. Two -two. And uh, I'll leave those snipes without comment. And we should have a reset on both sides here. So we've got ourselves a game here. Four minutes on the clock. I think the defense on both sides have done a pretty decent job of containing the flag carrier here. It feels like neither flag carrier has had a great opportunity to just kind of hold the game out. Um, the comms seem to have picked up a little bit, calling out lanes and where to go and all that. So... We'll see how they do on the power-ups here. That tag pro up top is going to be big. Uh, Agnes looking for a free grab. Does get it. So this changes the uh, the dynamic significantly as Nas is going to have to leave that juke juice. Freak gets it uncontested. But ne Zach does get the tag. Ops to be chasing with it, though. Zach, you want to be getting ahead, getting that anti set up. Cooler with a great split. Oh, my goodness. Trying to find his way to the flag carrier, or the, ta the tag pro, rather. A uh, little bit of disconnect there, unfortunately. Um, and Nas... Gets away with being on regrab. I think you really want to push off of regrab if you got that tag lead. But good snipe from Cooler, <laughs> and Nas goes for it. Very bold play, but it's going to open up an opportunity for JK now. Past a couple, the blocks are there. He's got the straight, and he doesn't quite hit it. His blocks are still there. Flaccid comes in. Another Flaccid. Cooler's got to make a play here, and he does to keep it at two two. Freak contained in the backfield. Coming in lane three from the looks of it. Got that bottom wall. I really like that route that they're taking there. Seems like they've practiced the map a little bit. Uh, Nas needs to hold. Good block from Zach. Not enough, but the flag carrier is going to cap puke themselves. And, oh, somehow or another, we've opened up a past four opportunity, but Glimmer is there. No, can't get around freaking time. Uh, a juice, or a rolling, sorry, each way. Um, Ball Star is a little disjointed right now. They really need to settle things down, especially with the rolling regrip here. They need to be patient. And Glimmer's going to just... Oh, no, that was a cap. Wow, the same frame. No way. Good. Good out from Nas here. Needs to be more patient. You shouldn't be forcing it in. Oh, my goodness. What am I talking about? Force it in. Cap the flag. <laughs> what do I know? It's novice. Do whatever. Push it in. Why not? It's going to be a tight game. <laughs> oh, goodness. So instead of settling down, CBS have just gone... I don't know. Pedal to the metal, I guess. <laughs> Balls to the wall. Uh, and they've tied the game back up with two minutes on the clock. Uh, two rollings coming up in about ten seconds. Uh, neither side really getting reset here. Uh, maybe an opportunity for microphone hunt cooler with a cross-court snipe. Um, both sides holding. Two rolling bombs spawning. Both are going to go to the ball stars. Cooler gets one. Zach's delaying the left one. Hoping maybe for a kiss here on Trapson. Doesn't take it. I think that would have been a cap if he had taken it. Um, Nas does get it in the end, though. And the defuse from Zach. And they're going to actually take their first lead of the game here with a minute 35 on the clock and a rolling regab. Defused by Cooler. Trapson does a good job to stay ahead. Freak, unfortunately, killing the flag carrier there. My goodness. One cap game. Very back and forth. Nas doing a good job telling everyone to calm down. I am not following his advice. I am on the edge of my seat here. Both sides of the second to breathe. Freak's going to get the grab. Zach gets hesitated, hesitates a little bit. I'm not sure why. Freak's going to be able to get out on that. 
Cooler is going to get caught by traps and two OD with only one defense, and unfortunately, flag carrier finds their way to a spike. Another round of power ups. The final round of power ups. Important tag pro up top was delayed by Zach last round. Let's see if he communicated the time with his teammates here. Uh, the rolling's going to go to Nas and Cooler with a very good job to help on that tag pro. Although in the end, JK almost comes away with it, uh, but Zach is going to get it very very late. And now. Going on offense with it, I don't hate the decision, but you got to make sure that you're not doing anything silly with a tag lead here. You cannot give up a counter cap, especially if you don't connect yourself. Uh, they're going for the set play, trying to wrap around it. Freak doing a very good job getting in and pinning on Cooler. Zach's going to do probably the only option he really had, although I don't love it, especially with the time on the clock, because now Jake has got a pass poor opportunity, um, especially with the spike on Nas, but Glimmer's going to be ahead. No anti for Microphone Hunt, and this is kind of exactly when you would need that anti. 10 seconds on the clock, one cap game. And without that, Glimmer's going to be able to just run the clock out here. Yeah, the kiss is going to come. Agnes pushes off a re, which was the right decision, but <laughs> you got to have anti if you want to get reset there. So very exciting game four there <laughs> as a 5-4 to four regulation win for the Converse Ball Stars. Um, showing that they've got what it takes here against the one seed. <laughs> We continue the streak four games in a row here with the blue team winning. Uh, we'll see who takes away game five if that holds true. So very exciting series so far. Yeah, you can see the cap difference a little bit open up from that first game, seven cap victory. But from there on out, games two through four have been very close. Uh, despite the scoreline on game three, that was still a close game in my eyes. So no, fun, fun so far. We'll see what we've got in store for game five. Alright, R is coming in from the Ball Stars. Stream is ready. Looks like our lineups here are Nas, Cooler, Zach, and Glimmer up against Trapson, Freak, Agnes, and JKXS. I'm assuming this will be a very exciting game five here. Nas with a message for me to tell my mom I love her. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Games being played tonight because of the Valentine's Day holiday, if you can call it that. Um, controversial internal decision on whether or not to move those games from Wednesday to Tuesday. Uh, teams could obviously reschedule back to Wednesday if they wanted to, but if you have strong opinions on that, feel free to share for next year because it won't be relevant again for a while. Sharing. Oh, we're all talking about my mom again. All right, love it. Go, mom. Love you, mom. All right, where are the hours? Somebody launch. <laughs> uh, Jukester comes in for. Was it Agnes there? I was not paying attention. I think that was a sub for the microphone hunt, though. All right, chop chop. Let's go. This is where I fall apart as a commentator. I have no random tidbits of things to talk about. Um, well, I do love to see 96 players in 14 games. It's a, it's a good feeling. So the one thing that I was not expecting that worked out quite well uh, 
kind of just pushing it in during pup rounds or directly after pup rounds was working out pretty well for the ball stars. I think at least one, if not two caps, were kind of just going for it when I ne wouldn't have necessarily thought the opportunity was there. I think a lot of um, unforced errors leading to incidental resets. I'm not really sure I'd have to watch it back, but um, I like that they kind of just embraced the chaos a little bit that game. I think it worked out for them. Um, microphone hunt embraced it as well, but it didn't necessarily work out for them. I think that was, <laughs> I don't know if you can call it luck or just handling the situation better, but it felt like both teams were a little erratic um, and the ball star just kind of came out on top. But we will see how that holds up here in game five. We finally have launched. Let's see, I like the spawns from the ball stars more. So they've got my, they've got my stamp this game. First grab of game five is going to go to not Nas as he spikes himself immediately. JKXS going to get it. And a good grab, too. Past a couple, past three even. Coming in top. Got the boost to work with. Cooler with a good pull. And Nas as well going to have some. No, doesn't take the boost. And a good opportunity. Yeah, Jukes is going to bring in the first cap early, 30 seconds in. A little sloppy there from the Ball Stars. Uh, a reset here. Cool. He's got the grab. He does a good job. Blows by traps and a quick grab on OD. He's going to put him past a couple, maybe even three. No, he finds his way into a spike as well. Oh my goodness. Nas past two for a while. No. Stubs his toe in the tunnel down there. Lean four. Uh, Nas bad. I'll let that speak for itself. Jukester spikes Nas again. Getting a little personal here. First round of power ups. Two tag pros starting off hot. First one's going to go to Nas. Second to Freak, so a tag a piece. Who's going to connect with the a flag carrier here? Nas does find one. JK gets a grab set up, so Freak's got the other side. They're dueling tag leads here. Nas almost sneaks around, but uh, only one tag lead's connected with their flag carrier right now. The other team, Ball Stars, a little disjointed. Tags kiss, flags kiss. Regrab out on both sides. Also looking to kiss. No. Up not to. Turn for cap here for the Ball Stars for a moment over both sides. Glimmer. Going for it. I don't agree with that at all, but it worked out for him last time, so don't listen to me. Um, good threaten from both sides. In the end, no caps. Both teams still out. Jukester hanging out midfield. Content not to push it either direction. Um, Zach threatening here. Return definitely not coming for a moment. Um, and Nas is going to opt to peel off for pups. But Jukester just patient enough, and as soon as Cooler came off for the power up there, he brought it in for the cap. Uh, another tag pro for Trapson now with a rolling regrab. Uh, Trapson not sure what to do from the looks of it. It's going to push it in, which I think is the right decision. You just want to pop somebody here and then spawn with that tag pro. Uh, Red needs to get out here if they don't want to give up the cap. Uh, they don't grab in time, and I have a feeling it's going to cost them. We'll see how it goes. They get the defusal, but Freak's going to walk in cap three of game five. So strong start for the microphone hunt. Ball stars just... Not really on the same page so far from what I've seen. Too many non-drop pops. Not really talking through power-up rounds. Uh, holding flag well, as Glimmer's now passed a couple. But again, shouldn't really be threatening there. Jukester's safe. Nobody's really contesting that hold. Um, good play from Cooler to, to bail Nas out there. Nas did a good job to swipe, assuming that bump was going to be there. And Nas actually lives there somehow. Um, still alive. Hesitation gets around traps in as well. Returns not coming. Zach needs to hold out. There's a rolling sitting top. He's going to get it on the flag. Uh, Z JK as well with a rolling grab though. So both sides safe. Neither flag carrier should be on the tile right now because that return's not coming. Um, and a bit of an unnecessarily defusal for Zach, but JK is about to run out as well. Let's see if he gets trolled here. Uh, he's going to use it in the end. Doesn't quite do what it needs to. And Zach with a quick return on the other side. It's going to be the first cap of the game for the Ball Stars actually. I didn't quite see what happened on regrab there, but I think Zach had a quick return. Uh, maybe unlucky timing for whoever was on regrab. Jukester out. Lane four. Can't die here from Nas. And Trapson gets a bit of a bump from a Cooler, but it's not quite enough. So a lot of holding going on so far. Not a lot of resets. Um, Jukester, again, very patient with the flag. Has been all series. Ball Stars need to really figure out what to do about that. Bottom pup is up a bit before first. They're going to get tagged low. 
see if JK can find his way to the flag. Cooler is going to come away with the rolling up top. Zach runs away from the kiss, which I don't agree with. Um, I think you really want to back up here and go for a kiss. But yeah, they're going to catch you in the end, and Cooler had to defuse to kind of keep the flag tile safe and almost sneaks around everybody, but no space to work with. So 4-1 game, still within reach, but Microphone Hunt so far looking like the more coordinated of the two teams. But we'll see how that progresses here. Cooler almost, 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 almost. Okay, good defense from both sides, keeping those boosts under control. Jukes are now with a very good grab past three off the flaccid. Bad timing with uh, that, but good play from Cooler there. Very strong OD all series. Uh, no different there. Really good job getting the comms, where the flag is and all that. Bottom pup is seven. Let's see if Nas can win this on JK. It's a 1v1, and JK is going to come away with it. That rolling bomb's up top. 2v1 Glimmer cannot win it away from Freak, but a good chance here. No, JK gets the bump grab. Uh, Glimmer probably should stay away from the kiss here. JK doesn't go for it with the rolling re -grab. Gets returned. Good anti from Cooler. Um, I think Glimmer could have pushed it in there. I don't hate the decision to hold it with the rolling in base. <laughs> Cooler somehow was spiked there. I didn't see how. Uh, but the non-drop pops really adding up in this game. Good blocks from JKXS and good timing on the return there. Not sure if Trapson was listening to the comms there or not. Um, but either way, a good cap for the microphone hunt to go up 5-1. to one. No anti now. Ball starts kind of falling apart from the strategy that was working for them. They're not really keeping the flag in. They're not really getting those pups as much as they were. Um, a lot of resets happening for microphone hunt right now, and that's really a difference. You can only make so many OD plays like that. My goodness, Glimmer. Really good grab. And out. Tag Pro uncontested to JKXS bottom. Glimmer with a turn for cap, but it's not coming for a while with that tag lead set up. Trapson takes the rolling up top. Going to use it to chase, but Glimmer with plenty of space to work with. No, Glimmer finds their way into a spike. That spike has been killer all series for both teams, and Trapson now past three. Zach not able to find their way to that boost. Uh, and this game is quickly slipping away from the Converse Ball Stars. The non, I mean, the unforced pops on this map. I, I'd forgotten quite how common it was. But past four here, JK is going to be able to walk this one in. And I'd say, assuming no major change in the series is just about over here, but you never know. We got a tag pro up next round. I can always I think a two crap swing would really put things back in reach, but it's not looking like that with JK now past three once again. Got the boost to work with. Doesn't get around Zach though. Zach, good job on the angle. Ooh. Zach with a chance. Oh, he doesn't go in. I don't think Zach realized there was nobody ahead that had the past four. But a tag pro to Microphone Hunt. They're going to get the tag lead set up. A little bit of space between them. Zach was in there, but gets taken away. Good snipe from Zach. I like the decision there. Obviously, it didn't work in the end, but I like trying to get around behind things and timing that perfectly, if possible. But not today. Freak pushing in. Gets the kiss. Pass two from Jukester. Good opportunity here. Blocks are there from Trapson. Glimmer rolls inside quickly enough, but Jukester almost sneaks it in anyway. Uh, Zach's able to take a breath for a moment, get reset. Two minutes on the clock. You have two more rounds of power-ups. Eight cap game. JK again. Passed a bunch. Yeah, I feel like a lot of plays have come down to can the OD make a play? Um, and like I mentioned earlier, you can only make that play so many times <laughs> if it's a 50-50. You're going to be giving up some caps one way or another. Another tag pro to Microphone Hunt. Zach kind of contained. Glimmer doing a good job of fighting for that low lane. Doesn't quite connect. Uh, Freak <laughs> does a good job not to use that boost. And it's going to give them their 10th cap of the game. I think we can comfortably say that this one is out of reach. JK going to be passed at least one. Flass is rolling in on the other side of the map. <laughs> and the non-drop pops continue <laughs> uh, in abundance. Uh, good hold from Zach there. Return may be coming here. Good anti from Cooler. I think that um, it's interesting. Game one and two, I was 
applauding the decision by the flag carriers to really walk back, slow things down as NOS comes in for a cap here. Um, kind of slowing things down, waiting for things to be under control. Um, and that same strategy has been used a lot this game for the worse. I think that flag carriers are peeling off a lot earlier than they have to. I think that they could be helping their team a little bit more by applying a little bit more pressure to the enemy base. And there's another cap coming in for the ball stars. I think it's a little bit too little too late, but good to at least get a couple more caps on the board there for your plus minus. Um, as JK does bring one back in the other direction. But yeah, I think that the, the team that kind of just kind of goes for it on this map is getting away with it. And um, Microphone Hunt definitely got away with it this, this game. Kept flags. Gonna go to nobody as the Opticus and Nas is gonna disconnect. So that's your series. Microphone Hunt completes the blue sweep as Team Blue takes all five games in this series. Um, although, as you can see, three of those to Microphone Hunt, two of them to the Converse Ball Stars. But considering the eight to one seed spread on this series, I think that was a very good showing from the Ball Stars. Games one and five, probably not within reach, but games one or two through four, very much contested games. Don't pay attention to that score line there on game three. That was a very close game to the very end. Um, yeah, fun series. So if somebody else is streaming, I will try to figure out how to rate. Actually, no, I only have four viewers, so I won't bother rating anybody. <laughs> but uh, thanks for tuning in. If you are a novice player watching your game back, nice job tonight. And I will see you all soon.